Hello, this is Peter, $17, allowing you to join me on my quest to win Clash of Clans for the second time. Today, we've taken a brief detour in order to demolish one of Lost Phoenix's feeders in Clan War. Now, today's video was originally intended to be a compilation of fails of LP5 Titan in this war, but regrettably I was informed by YouTube I cannot upload videos longer than six hours. So instead, we shall show some attack replays from some of the very, very best players in all of the game of Clash of Clans. First here, we see HJHH from the clan, Peter17 dollars awesome, attacking Ricky54 from LP5 Tiny, I mean Titan. And uh, you can see here, HJHH is a Town Hall 8, that's correct, attacking a Town Hall 9 with only golems and wizards. Yes, HJHH deploying a go wee attack style is now destroying the clan castle. There it is, complete victory. Nothing else needed. The clan castle is down. The complete village has been demoralized. There, the town hall destroyed as well. One remaining wizard in the middle, 40% damage. Excellent damage percentage there, and uh, HJHH decides he's not done, even though he's achieved victory by destroying the clan castle. He's deployed some archers on the edges here, just to uh, go ahead and get a few extra points for the team. And as you can see, the archers, unmolested by any defensive structures, will continue to destroy uh, buildings on the outside until HJHH decides to stop the attack at a full 50% for, of course, total damage. And now, the moment you've all been no doubt waiting for, the replay of a live war attack recorded live by the best player to ever play Clash of Clans. Right, right. This village has already been attacked for two stars. I'm just going in to add insult to injury. As you can see here, I've only chosen to bring a smattering of troops. You can see additionally there are one, two, three, four, five, six empty slots for troops, but we do not need them. We can demolish and achieve total damage by leaving those six slots completely empty. We drop all of our dragons, balloons, clan castle, Got lightning spells here, but there is no gym box, so we'll just use it here on this air defense. And there they go, the air defense is down, the dragons going in, destroying the village. <sighs> destroying buildings and such, surely getting total damage on this LP5 tiny Titan base. And uh, you can see here, they're not quite to the clan castle yet, so we have not achieved victory, but the game is predicting it shall be so. It's awesome and excellent even before the clan castle goes down. And there, you can see in the center of the base, well protected, but then destroyed. Total damage, the clan castle is done. There are no remaining defenses left to stop my dragons from ravaging this village to the ground. Soon, there will be nothing left. As you can see here, the dragons continuing their way around. A couple of barbarians for good measure. My king has apparently gotten dizzy from turning around in circles too many times. But it does not matter. The dragons are plenty of damage left to go in and destroy the very last building. Once again, achieving total damage. And again, perfection in a clan war. Three stars, adding a star to our total, now putting us at 125 to 66 on our way to certain victory. And of course, total damage was achieved as we log on the following day and we look at the results of the clan war. Yes, war has indeed ended in the final score, 130 stars to LP5 Titans 92. Quite a demolishing victory as Peter $17 begins its way up the chain of the Lost Phoenix clans. Peter. Watch out LP4, we are coming for you are next. Are you still here? I can't believe you're sitting here working on this all day long. How long can you possibly right. brag about a clan war that was so mismatched? Fish posh, Galadon. Now wait until you guys face a LP clan that has we more shall. of the town hall levels that you and guys we shall do. shall win. The results will be a lot different, no. I assure you, Peter. Not possible, what? Galadon. Victory is ours. Peter, just, you know just talk about your gem no. boxes. That That's is, gem at. boxes are next. That's not correct. Not wasting any more time on this, Peter. Good luck. What? 
You're going to get crushed next go time. Go away, Galidon. Guaranteed. Go. Go. For we will cover, of course, the strongest bases in the entire game. Gem box defense bases, as you can see here. Bray G using the gem box base setup. Ladies coming a clapping, congratulating him on achieving the ultimate base, the gem box base. But he is not alone. There are many other members of Peter Seventeen Dollars awesome clans that have done the same. Here you can see Nico Peza as well as B Original or something of the sort. Owen, of course, has a perfect gem box base. And of course, your maker does as well. As you can see, perhaps Lost Phoenix can learn a thing or two and might not lose so miserably if they could have better bases. So for now, check out my other amazing videos, the first ever gem box victory and why Veiled Karais are the very best troop in the game. Until next time, this has been Peter17 Dollars from the clan. Peter17 Dollars, awesome! And you're welcome. Oh. oh dear. Galidon! Galidon, come back! Someone's at the door! Galidon, I'm sorry. Please don't let her in.